Hello everyone, this is uh, Shurfo. Welcome to Codenbox Automation Lab. Today we're going to see how we can handle SSL certification. Uh, let's see what is SSL certification first. SSL certification, uh, it's called Secure Socket Layer. This is a website. You can see in details about the SSL certification. I will add below in description. But however, this is uh, one kind of a special protocol that's uh, add to the, uh, you know, the different secure site like banking site, some financial site, they add, uh, you know, the, to save our transaction. So uh, you can see here is it's a protocol that provides secure communication over a computer network. So how it works, you can see that uh, uh, it's create a private case. I mean, when you uh, use this kind of secure side, there is a, you know, you know it's, uh, it's created a secure protocol that uh, when you send any information like email or username password, it's encrypted to data. At, at, so that is if anybody wants to hack the message, they will not able to hack it. You can see no one has the read your message. Those are the you know, reason why you know they use this protocol or security in the uh, in the uh, site. So this is uh, the, especially you can see this uh, SSL certification that's protocol added to most of the financial uh, company, banking company, you know, to protect their side, uh, the, especially for clients' uh, information uh, uh, and. That's that's the reason. Okay. Sometimes this this certification gets expired, or some certification has something wrong. So we're not able to log in. And, you know, get to see that site. Not able to visit that site. Uh, I can show you some of the example. You know, it's happened. You can see this is one of the side that's you know we we have seen it's uh, happen. Uh, you know, sometimes that we get this kind of information. You know the message when you try to visit the secure side, then we have to click on advance. This is those are the SSL certification uh, you know error. Okay, uh, sometimes you can consider it like something like this. Then we have to click on advance. You know, so we have to click on advance like it comes on advance form, and then you click on proceed to sell. You know uh, this site, and then it's, it goes to the that site. So. If it's happened, you know, during our testing, we have to uh, overcome that kind of situation so that we can move ahead and complete our testing. You know, we have to inform this kind of like if there is a, a client side is happening, you know, this kind of problem, but we, we can't wait, you know, until they fix it. So we have to proceed. So how can how we can handle this kind of scenario through the Selenium automation or series? Okay, let's. Go to our Eclipse. So I created um, I created class. It's called SSL certification. Okay, this is a very uh, prerequisite. Uh, requisite, you know, so use the set me uh, property method. You know, to uh, confirm where is my uh, the key of the driver and the location of the driver the chrome driver okay and after that what's really happened in easily we do you can see so after that we we use the uh, relationship between the web driver interface and the chrome driver class right so but before in this type in the SSL certification you know this is uh, we have to tell it's a it's a very special type of scenarios so our it doesn't happen always so our home driver doesn't know until you tell its exception it's kind of type uh, it's kind of like exception scenarios so we have to tell our chrome driver that we have to tell our chrome driver that okay if there is a ssl certification in a face in our if uh, in our uh, uh, browser you know it's accepted and proceed to the visit the site how can we do this so we have an and we have a class is called home option class so let me 
write the first new Chrome Chrome options. So let me write it and then I will explain. Okay, let's put a variable called C and have the treatment. Okay, let's over our mouse and put the column option class. Okay. So it is uh, just a Chrome, the Chrome option is a class. It's allow, uh, as it, it, it has some lots of method, and one of the method it's called uh, set capabilities it's uh which is allow us to set some exceptional capabilities set some options in our code so that it's except uh like if there is a uh, ssl certificate it's accept that and proceed to uh, visit the site so i create an object of that class and then let's uh use the method to see that you can see there's a lots of method in this Chrome options class. We're looking for set uh, capabil capabilities. You can see set capabilities. Okay, set capabilities. Okay, in set capabilities, it is a two part. The first part we we're going to say capabilities type. Then the next part value will be the value like true or false. Capabilities we have to type capabilities. B I L I T Y type. Just you have to type it. Except uh, capability type dot. Then you can see there is a lots of options like Excel insecure certificate, Excel SSL certificate. So let's select first this one. And then that the value would be true. So it means we're seeing. Uh, Using the set capabilities method of Chrome option class, and we put the the argument that it will accept the Excel insecure certificate if there is uh, if there is on the side, and it's a it should be true. Uh, we're saying it's true. Okay, if is it true, then it will accept it. And the next, the another one. We're just going to change over here. Set capabilities. Let's only accept the other one. Accept SSL certificate. So this is the two types of you know certification easily uh, uh, added to the secure site. So we are saying this both of them. If either any one of them have its uh, we face when you browse any site, it will accept. Okay. And now, now we're going to write our chrome driver uh i mean it's a web driver web driver web driver drive to driver equals to we'll say new chrome driver chrome, new chrome driver okay let's power our mouse Okay, import the com driver package. Uh, have our mouse import the web driver package. So now we're saying, you know, to the polymorphism uh, uh, oops concept like uh, the web driver. We know the web driver interface. The relationship between web driver interface and the com driver class. Okay, so now driver has is the object reference that has a knowledge all of the method between this web driver and com driver class. Okay. So what we're saying. This is this is the relationship, okay? Uh, what we have to do? This is special set up the desired capabilities we set up for this testing, okay? So we have to pass this C this in this driver as an argument. Now you know that this is these two methods we set up. We use this of the set capabilities. There's a two or desired capabilities we set up. That's uh, either any one of the you know, uh, the insecure certificate or SSL certificate we face in our browser, it will accept it. Okay. It will, uh, it will not be problem to browse, uh, you know, uh, uh, to the main site. 
So the, uh, these two, these two desert capabilities have the knowledge. It's in it, it, in this C variable. That's why we pass this C variable C uh, object reference to our uh, actual driver, so that it's applicable. You know. So next we'll do the regular thing. So let's we'll say. So this is our side example. This is one of the side we saw earlier. Okay. Uh, this this is the one of the side. It shows like this. This is the side. And see, it shows like that. So after if we use that code, it will click on uh, it, it will click on advance and then click on proceed to you know the side. Okay. So pretty much that's it. So let's uh, save it and run it. Okay, it's in both. This is in both uh, Chrome browser. Here we go. You can see it's automatically it goes to the side. But earlier, you know, it didn't go to the side. So that's uh, that's it for this example. Okay, that's a way. This is just you know three lines. This is the three lines. If we have any SSL certification or uh, you know uh, in secret certification protocol uh, to any side. And uh, and it's expired or some reason it's not working and you know it's give us a uh, some some sort of error we saw earlier. Then we have to click on the C. And uh, to do this, we have to use this three simple line. Use the Chrome Option class and use one of the method set capabilities and 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 put the capabilities. So what kind of capabilities we want to you know uh, we want to use or apply in our Chrome browser? Okay. So pretty much that's it. And thank you for watching. And don't forget to click on subscribe button because every week I'm loading you know the new uh, videos tutorial, so you can uh, you can get the update. Okay, don't forget to click on subscribe button. Have a good day.